Hello everyone, today's video is all about capital gains tax and a cautionary tale about the need to keep detailed records. So this was a court case, went through the, uh, the courts recently, and it concerned the sale of a property. So <clears throat> this property was a buy to let, it was a rental property, and it was sold, and there was a capital gain, and the guy on his tax return claimed relief for enhancement expenditure. So, you know, an extension on the property. Now, the problem was that he didn't have detailed records for the work that was carried out, say, 10 years ago, and HMRC challenged it. Now, when you are doing a capital gains tax um, calculation, remember, it's basically the sales proceeds minus the cost uh, less expenses um, surrounded with the purchase and with the sale. So stamp duty, uh, land tax on the purchase, solicitor's fees and solicitor's fees at the back end. Those are the things that you can deduct in addition to any enhancements to the building. Um, as long as the enhancements are still evident at the time of the sale. Now, so that would mean things like, let's say you, you added on a, um, a side garage uh, to a house uh, and then, for whatever reason, knocked it down uh, before you sold it. You cannot claim for the um, that expenditure because it's no longer there at the time of sale. I, I think, um, you know, in the property gain, that doesn't happen very often. But it, the rule says that you can get the tax relief for the enhancement expenditure, the capital extensions, um, as long as they're still evident at the time that you sell the property. Fine. So... In terms of the records, I would suggest it's quite easy to say, well, we know exactly what the sales proceeds are. That's the easiest thing. That's the most recent thing. You've got the uh, the um, the com completion statement for that. For the purchase as well, that's all, um, you know, you'll have um, be able to prove that quite easily, I would have thought, as long as we're not going back decades and decades. And likewise, the fees associated with the expenses um, at the time, uh, the, the stamp duty land tax, that's easy to work out fees, uh, the back end when you sell, solicitor's fees, again, that's all straightforward. So yes, the the one that might cause an issue is how much did you spend on capital improvements during the lifetime of the ownership of the property? And this is what uh, happened in, in uh, this particular case where the guy got challenged in court by HMRC because he tried to claim a hundred grand um, capital improvement say a decade or so ago for an extension, but there was no real records of that, no uh, no proper invoices, everything else. And unfortunately, what happened in this case, so he, he tried to claim a tax deduction in his capital gain for 100 grand. HMRC said, no, uh, we don't think your record keeping is up to scratch, but we'll let you have 25 grand tax deduction on that capital expenditure, the improvements. And he said, no, I want to take this to court went to court, the judge went through all the available items, line by line, invoices that appeared, uh, went through everything and said, actually, you know what, we're only going to let you have 10 grand's worth of deduction against your capital gains tax. So, uh, a <laughs> salutary tale there about, um, you know, with hindsight, he should have accepted HMRC's decision even though it was not what he wanted because when he took it to court it got even worse for him and uh, the judge said actually we're going to uh, let you have half of what the HMRC inspector uh, initially said that you could have um, so just listen to just a, a tip for uh, record keeping particularly capital gains tax around property so when you have improvement expenditures during the course of owning a property make sure you keep detailed um, records of the enhancement expenditure um, because um, you can claim you can claim tax relief for that when you work out your capital gains tax but equally HMRC may open an inquiry and want to see um, that evidence so do keep do keep evidence of that so normally in in for for businesses the, the general rule of thumb you know we say to people, um, who have got a, a trading business, we said, look, keep your books and records for six years. And HMRC, that's 
that's what they say. Keep keep books and records for six years for business purposes. But for, obviously for property, you could have had the you know own property for way way more than six years. So that rule of thumb doesn't apply. It, it's a lot longer. It's it's literally since day one. Um, you might have had the property a decade or several decades, but you've got to hold on to the the documentary evidence, the proof of enhancement capital expenditure, i.e. Uh, extensions and the like. So uh, just uh, do bear that in mind. If you're in the uh, the property game, you've got buy-to-let properties, um, or indeed it's, it's your main residence that you then start to let out. Um, similar thing because once you start letting it out, you will lose some of that main residence relief, and then that's that's when this um, this sort of thing will apply. So, do for heaven's sake keep a receipt, a building works done going you know going back years. If you if you um, have any anything done, hold on to it, hold on to it, and and put it somewhere safe because in the future you will uh, come to rely on it when you are making that capital gains tax calculation and you claim for the cost of that uh, that enhancement expenditure. So that's just a quick uh, video there on deductions for capital gains tax, valuable deductions, but you've got to have the uh, the records to, uh, to prove that you actually incurred them. If you like this video, please do subscribe right there and I will see you soon.